Okay, so today I was perusing around, and I, I don't usually catch up with my, uh, with my subreddit very much, or I don't, I, mean, I, I don't peruse around those waters, you know, Reddit very much, but I did notice that my subreddit, uh, pop, or Meat Canyon subreddit, had tons of awesome, uh, art that is inspired, uh, my style, so I thought today I would grab one of those, redo the design that one of you guys did. So yeah, we got, uh, looks like someone did Scrooge McDuck, which if you look at it, it's actually a beautiful design. He has a bunch of eyes on his head, I wonder why, I, I, I never really understood why, but he has a nice little fucked up eye to the right, which is fantastic. The only thing I remember really from Scrooge McDuck was that he he did that dive into the, uh, the gold pit, and I remember I was like, man, that looks awesome, even though it would, uh, shatter every fucking bone in his body, but we're not here to, uh, we're not here to rip on Scrooge, we're just here to, just here to draw him. Like, I kind of like this pose that he has here, at least. It's way more, uh, reminds me of like a, like a, like a villain, or like a, almost like an action hero pose, which is kind of nice. Was he there? He has his big dump truck ass. Like that, and his stuff goes up. I always wondered what the fuck was on his feet. Like a weird shoe over his foot, but it's like not really a shoe. It's just kind of a little protective sandal thing. I don't know. Like I said, he's got that he's got that dump. Got that dump in the trunk. You can see a little bit of his under pussy underneath it here. You know, <laughs> that shoddy be thick though. Alright, we're getting his general shape down, at least. Bada bing, bada boom, and he's counting his cash. I did like how this guy had uh, he gave him a vault, which is kind of funny. He gave him a nice little vault for the uh, for his tummy there. So we we can do is, I do like that. Give him the vault deal. I will say the 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 person that made this their their understanding of vaults is quite impressive. Nice little vault design. Got to give him some eyes here. What I might do actually too, instead of doing a third eye like that. So I might rem remove his top hat a little bit and then make his like make his head a little more deformed on top so there can be more eyes. So I might make his head a little little bigger so we can so we can fit in some of them eyeballs, some of those painful eyes. I know the original design had a little vein, might have that one kind of go in between his eyes a little bit. Cause he's thinking hard. This version that I'm doing here, it kind of looks like uh what the fuck is that? What's that one Yu-Gi-Oh card? Thousand Eyes Relinquish, I think was his name. I remember when I got that shit when I was a kid at Walmart. Go to Walmart, get a ten of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, piss off your family, you know? I will say, I kind of want, now that I see this, I kind of want the, the vault to be open. We're going to throw some cash in there. Some hundreds of dollars. Got to throw in some of them coins. The original guy definitely, he fucked with coins pretty heavy. Open this up a little bit. I kind of want him to have his hand here, like he opened it up himself. Kind of like, kind of like he's just like, yeah, dude, like I'm, I'm, I'm rich as shit and I don't give a fuck. He's kind of like a like a Twitch streamer, or one of those streamers on Twitch that uh, does nothing but slots. Money ain't nothing but a thing. Also, I can't forget his his glasses. You know how it is. Right on the top of his little snoot, his little smug piece of shit face. I wonder if she. I wonder if he should be counting it like that. That's pretty good. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna try it. I'm going back on everything I've ever known. I don't think I've ever really liked any of the ducks in any kind of cartoon. Every duck character has to sound so fucking obnoxious. It's annoying. Dude, look look at that. Look at that flick of the finger. Just counting it without even looking. You know he's looking at somebody just, just poor as shit. Now that we have a rough done of this exactly, what I might do is drop this down, start another rough on top of it, but then really try to exaggerate a lot of these things. Like, I feel like I can probably push his shoulders back more. Really give him a big opening, like a bigger hole for his vault here. Cause he's he's greedy, he's gotta he's gotta fit all of his cash, all of his assets in here. Really push this shit. Really gotta be sure to give him that dump truck duck ass though. I'm not about to hold out on him. God, damn, old boy is looking looking beat. Good lord. Talking about down with the sickness, more like down with the thickness. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate myself. That's actually the new uh, Bloody Mary is whenever you say something that's just that's just so unforgivable you just have to say you hate yourself three times wonder what i could do differently with his eyes make more more manic in the eyes maybe i think i need to also think about what is the story of of my scrooge i kind of like the idea of maybe he's uh he only sees out through his top eye holes 
And then these eye holes are just literally reserved for like, it's like folded up dollar bills. He sees nothing, he sees nothing but greed. He's a capitalist pig. Actually, I kind of like this one just being regular. We'll have like one bill kind of coming out. I kind of maybe want it to be more like thin and wispy. Really just wispy as shit. Just almost like a, almost like one of those old Japanese like dragon deals where like they have like the little whiskers that wisp out like that. I feel like he should have some of that. Maybe one's kind of intersect a little bit, give a little more character. Makes it a little more fluid. I kind of want the top one to be a little more fluid though too. Like a little bit of a dip like that would be kind of fun. Uh, yeah, maybe too much. You know what? I played with fire. I don't. I, I didn't like that. Never mind. The guy did give him some sharp fingers. I'm not sure what that is. It, that might be his thumb, or that could just be a protruding wrist bone. But there's not one on this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess that's just a little. That's a little sneak peek. That's a little hey, little kiss kiss. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna leave that one out. I do like whenever the duck's feet are really big though. So I'm gonna give him his little deal here. He's got this weird fucking shoe on. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna give him one toe just cause there's that one spot that was poking out. So I'm just giving him one little toe. He's got little cankles. Scrooge is a little fat bitch. That's all right. Who isn't? I don't trust anybody who's in shape. I'm gonna give him like a little cellulite ass. There's tons of like little ripples. Got that grade A turkey. God damn, that old boy thick. Some bitch. Yeah, I'm just sitting here drawing this and I'm like, oh, oh, oh. All right, dude, now we got, our, we got our nice little rough going so we can start lining this guy up. He's looking pretty rad. I wonder if he looks too much like a superhero or villain. He kind of looks a little too extreme. But you know what, I'm gonna go with it because Old boy looked straight up diabolical, so that's what I'm gonna do to start laying that outline on him. During these times of drawing, whenever you're just kind of doing the, you're just kind of drawing the little bills and stuff, getting all the lines fixed out. I just like to think about how my day is going. Try not to think about how stressed out I am and how, you know, every day of my life I wake up and I just have horrible diarrhea from stress. You know, I'll be honest, I'll be the first one to say it, a bad diet, but uh, a lot of diarrhea, almost too much. To the point where there there has to be some kind of medical concern after a while where you're just like, oh, this just isn't, this isn't right. That's, this is something, this is about something half near foul. Very nice. He kind of looks like a Dragon Ball Z villain a little bit, doesn't he? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy stepped out of like one of those like capsule spaceships. And he was like, hello, Goku. I'm here to count money. Be kind of messed up if there was a Dragon Ball Z saga where the whole time it was just like aliens trying to fuck Chi Chi, or it was, or actually even worse is Chi Chi is just like cheating on Goku every episode with a different alien that he has to fight. Chi Chi, would you stop running a train on all those aliens, please, Chi Chi? Pretty sure Goku's borderline Down syndrome, if I remember right. I wish I could go back and work at my sub job, dude. I miss it sometimes. God, I'm such a fat bitch. I'm just like, yeah, I miss my job. I got free food. You know, I'm gonna go to the doctor one day and they're just, I mean, I, 100% they're just gonna be like, yeah, we're gonna have to take the foot. And I'm like, I have to, I have the diabetes doctor? Yeah, with without a doubt, you have diabetes. I don't have to do a blood test. By looking at you, I can smell it. All right, well, we got the line art done of our beautiful, of our beautiful boy here. Um, I do, let me see here. So let's look at, I, I wanna look at his color scheme. So. Red, he has maroonish eyes. He's got this, the regular deal and his, so all the eyes are red and then he kind of looks like it's like a dark, maybe blue or just gray. I might make this a dark blue. You know what? I'm just gonna fucking color it without the fills. Fuck it. I thought I was having fun at first, but uh, no, sir. No, not anymore. I am kind of sad. I didn't get to, I didn't follow through with this. Like he put his, uh, he puts, he put like a weird, he did, he does have kind of like a Dracula kind of robe, which maybe I didn't, I didn't honor that very well. But I just love this fucking outfit, dude. My boy Scrooge got taste. Scrooge, where'd you get that? He'd be like, don't worry, you can't afford it. You're like, all right, dude, damn. Dude, if I wasn't so fat, I would totally wear red all the time. I'll tell you something, as a, as a large man, uh, you can't wear red. You just can't. Your body just says, that is one color uh, I'm not gonna let you have. I, I refuse to let you have that. As a large man, I have never really known the joys of wearing red. I wish I could. And you know, there is an argument to be made that people say Santa wears red, but let me tell you something, Santa isn't fucking real. I wanna see a morbidly obese Santa that wears red. 
and he wears a quadruple XL, and that bitch still looks tight. Just this giant ape man going around in a red shirt. That would certainly fucking that would that would certainly uh, take take the joy out of Christmas a bit more for kids. I'm gonna do the eyes next. I've been looking forward to the eyes. Yeah, man, that's rad. Good color that the eye, that the guy chose for the eyes. I'll be the first one to admit it. Damn fine color. I kind of didn't want to give a black outline for these though. I thought it'd look cooler if it was just the color. And survey says that's right. It'd be funny if one day this kid met me. I'm like an airport. He's like, hey, you're me, Canyon, right? I'm like, yeah, how'd you know? He's like, yeah, you're that fat guy with the mullet. I'm like, okay, that's a little little harsh, a little real, but all right. He's like, yeah, hey, you drew my picture that one time, you piece of shit. Just, I mean, like, really just lays into me. He's like, it was wrong. Mine was totally inspired, and you're suck dick. I'm like, Jesus Christ, kid. Yeah, it, it, it gets so serious where he's just like, you know what, actually, I hope, I hope your whole family dies. I'm like, God damn, man. Just for the Scrooge McDuck drawing? He's like, yeah. If this kid doesn't see this shit and he isn't happy, then I'm gonna raise hell. I'm gonna find out where he lives. I'm gonna date his mom and become his dad and ground him. Hell yeah! Wait, one more thing. Just gotta do this cute little gold button and then we are, we are living la vida loca. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What a, what, 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 what a, what a drawing. We have the original here, beautiful, the eyes of greed, the eyes of the storm coming in. He looks fantastic. And then we have my rendition here, completely inspired by the fan drawing. This is a great Scrooge McDuck. I would have never thought to draw Scrooge McDuck because I don't think about Scrooge McDuck. I don't really think about Scrooge very much or really any of the ducks for that matter. It's kind of sad, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. If the guy doesn't fucking like it, I'm gonna be pissed off. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna fucking email him. I'm gonna email, email him until I get a response. Uh, I'm gonna upload this video to YouTube. And if he doesn't comment on it and say, oh, I love it. Thank you so much. Then I'm gonna fucking, I'm, I'm gonna find where he lives and I'm gonna have a word with him. Like I said, I'm gonna marry his mom. I'm gonna treat her right. I'm gonna take her to Red Robin on Tuesdays. Gonna get bottomless fries. Gonna probably argue from time to time. We're gonna watch 300 on Blu-ray. Get mad that she won't buy me the 4K steel box set of 300, the, the 300 movie and the sequel. I'm gonna complain to her that she doesn't read the Frank Miller comic book version of 300. So then when she's asking questions the whole time, I raise my voice. The guy comes downstairs. He says, what are you doing with my mom? I say, go back upstairs, boy. Like that, he's 28 years old. I call him boy. All right, I'm, 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 tra I'm trailing off. I'm trailing off too much. I got to get the fuck out of here.